All right, guys, today it is a very, very sad day in CDT, guys. And that's because a lot of cars just got removed and one of them was a very, very recent limited item. So let's go talk about it, guys, and let's see how much we just lost. Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race. I'll see you in the video. But on the other hand, welcome back guys. It is your boy T Stingray. Today we are here in CDT guys. It is a, another beautiful day no matter what it is is whatever what's going on in cdt guys but you guys can see right here in the middle of my screen it says car refunded reward come back in eight hours to get a new reward all right so let's go ahead and see what that reward is and you guys can see car refunded cars have been removed from the game you've gotten a refund viltoro times 25 guys so if you guys don't know what the viltoro is that is the whole entire lamborghini lineup that was just removed from cdt so we just collected 90 million dollars guys which is a lot of money 90.1 million dollars let's go ahead and collect it you guys can see i have about almost 200 million but once we collect that we're over 200 million and we just lost a lot of our cars now you're probably wondering what's going on in this why did we just get this removed well i got a couple of answers for you guys on this very very confusing day it is not the only game that this has happened to but you guys can see that we still have all the season five prizes right over here you guys can see that we still have task and we still have all the races right over here but if you guys can see we go inside of here and we don't see any more Vela Toros anymore, guys, which is very, very sad. All the Lamborghinis have been removed in here, especially the brand new Isenza SCV12, guys. Yes, the brand new SCV12 that we were literally just comparing with the brand new Rivuelto, guys, was removed in this game. And I'm so sad because, look, guys, there's literally no Lamborghinis anymore. And, and that's because of copyright reason, guys. There's a lot of things going on in Roblox with cars and copyright. And you guys can see that we still have McLarens in here. We still have Ferraris. We still have Bugattis and Koenigseggs. But you guys can see that we don't have any more Lamborghinis, which is super 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 sad now you're probably wondering like why all of a sudden why did cdc get hit now and not earlier when driving empire and the other games were removed all the lamborghinis why was cdt the last one well let's just start with the fact that when they started removing driving empire cars which is like the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, the McLarens, they were hit with a copyright strike, guys, from those companies because the cars were so very accurate. Now, with that being said, guys, there was no logos or anything on these cars, so there really wasn't much of a copyright. But if the car kind of almost looks the same, I think they can actually get you for copyright, which is kind of, you know, dumb at the same time. The real question is, is Lamborghinis going to be coming back? And yes and no, guys, and I'll explain why later. But you guys can see that we still have the Bugattis in here and the McLarens. They did remove it first in Vehicle Legends and then I believe Driving Empire. And that was because their cars look super, super realistic. Now in CDT, these cars, they do look very realistic but at the same time they don't have logos and they don't have any of the same decals as the re real cars and if you guys are wondering what decals are basically they're like the giant stickers or stickers that come on the car like the svj the large svj on the side of the lamborghini aventador because if they start putting those on the cars guys they will literally get copyrighted like you guys can see that this bugatti does not have even a logo on it which is absolutely crazy, but you guys can still see that it is the actual car that they used 
in the game. Now, the good news was that Driving Empire did get the Lamborghinis back, but it wasn't the Lamborghinis you guys hoped and expected for. Now, a lot of people are saying that this is like the end of CDT, guys, and it kind of is and kind of not because we still have most of these cars in here. That doesn't mean that they're not going to get, you know, striked again on YouTube or in the game. But I feel like the Ferraris and McLarens are next, which is like super, super unfortunate. But you guys can see that there's nobody using Lambos anymore. It's all Ferraris and McLarens now. And of course, my Project Evo right over here. But you guys know that since the Lambos have been taken out, that means a CDT or Foxy Production has been hit with copyright. Unless if they don't take it down, they will get you know taken down the whole entire game will be taken down if they don't do so so that's why foxy just went ahead and removed it so the whole entire cdt game does not get banned and there are going to be some ways that these cars can come back much better guys a lot of you uh saw that driving empire literally changed a lot of its cars in the game especially the brand new rivuelto i'm not sure if you guys ever been in driving empire or vehicle legends but there is a lot of cars that don't look like the actual one and that's because they went ahead and changed the cars so there's gonna be a big project for foxy and the whole foxy production team guys of getting these lambos back in here i don't know how they're gonna look like i really hope that they're not too big of a difference from the real one because if it is you know it, it does not even look like a lambo anymore but good news is that i believe that the performance of these cars are still going to be the same like they were in the game but a lot of our cars just got refunded guys and a lot of them were limited items and i'm sad about that and we're gonna go and check out the limited museum too to see if those cars are still there i mean it's not bad that they do have the car picture in the game but having the car in the game, I feel like it's the same exact thing. I don't know why they would have to take it down. Same even with Driving Empire. But the biggest reason, guys, is because these games, they make money. Of course, they gotta have some ways to keep updating these games for you guys. So, of course, they're gonna have to make money. So, when that happens, literally a lot of these, you know, brands out there like Lamborghini, Porsche, Ferraris, and all that stuff, if they wanna ban these cars in the game, they can and if they don't want to get banned they can go ahead and one remove the cars out of the game or number two they would have to pay lamborghini or ferrari and any other car manufacturer a hefty fine to get these cars in the game but i don't think that should be foxy productions you know a cost or any of the other games uh, cost guys i think roblox themselves would have to actually go ahead and pay those companies to get them in the game again so that means roblox would have to pay lamborghini to advertise their game in here but you guys know that lamborghini does not advertise at all so that's why they went ahead and removed the you know the cars in here and at the same time same thing with ferrari which i'm super super scared for guys i think ferraris might be next and then koenigseggs and then so on i know mclaren was one of the first ones that actually got hit in driving empire which is absolutely insane but i gotta say that hopefully they'll come out with something this weekend really really quick guys or even an explanation why they actually removed the car but that is my theory guys a lot of these cars have been getting removed the past couple of months it's very very sad but that is the whole explanation of it there's no way of like kind of changing this route guys unless lamborghini and ferrari just goes ahead and say you know what we're gonna go ahead and just let them advertise for free there's no way they're gonna say that guys but roblox is a big game it is actually a publicly traded company if you guys don't know about that it is a huge company so i don't see why roblox themselves won't just pay lamborghini and ferrari all the you know the stuff that they need to do to get the games you know back to going and get these cars looking regularly again because a lot of these cars in driving empire guys they are not realistically looking anymore they look great but they're not accurate to the models anymore and i'm super sad about that but that is the whole entire explanation why driving empire and cdt did the same thing guys i hope they don't do ferraris i hope they don't do mclarens like they did in driving empire and i don't think this game is going to be ruined completely it's not like everybody was even driving lambos in here from the start but a lot of those lambos i did 
you know really really like all right we are here in the limited museum guys and you can see that we still have a lot of the cars in here but you can see that they even took down the limited cars so if you guys haven't seen the video of me going through every single car in this museum go check that out you guys can actually see which cars are missing you guys can see we still have all the ferraris in here and all of the mercedes koenigseggs and uh you know the aston martins but you guys can see that there is no more lambos in here wow you guys can see there's one taken out right here and then if we go upstairs guys you can see that there are some empty spots up here too look at that right over there there used to be two cars right over here i think it was like the sesto elemento and then of course the tesro millennio guys so those two cars got removed and you guys go over here you guys can see that we still have a lot of these cars in the limited museum you guys can see that we have the new solus gt right here by mclaren the brand new sev 12 was right over here guys and it's very sad that it was so short-lived and then i believe the revuelta was in here but i don't think it was but a lot of these cars are now gone in cdt and unfortunately guys like it is so sad like i love lamborghinis i've literally built like a museum just with lamborghinis before i'm not sure if you guys remember that and it's a very sad moment and hopefully these other cars does not get hit and hopefully we'll see a better maybe even better looking models from foxy production guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell good news is cdt is still here bad news lambos are removed forever guys but doesn't mean that it could be forever but there is a big chance so thank you so much for watching hope to see you guys in the next one peace out